intention of today's Mass is for Robert Joya. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. My friends, as we gather together today on the feast day of St. Albert the Great, the 13th century doctor of the church and teacher of St. Thomas Aquinas, let us acknowledge our sins and so be more prepared to enter into these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to my you, brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly I have sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have I done and what I have what failed, failed to do, through my fault, fault through my fault, fault, through my most through grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the all angels, the angels and, saints, and saints, and you, my, and brothers, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to, pray to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Albert great by his joining of human wisdom to divine faith, grant, we pray, that we may so adhere to the truths he taught that through progress in learning we may come to a deeper knowledge and love of you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel in the church in Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works, that you have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accepted and heard. Keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life, but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea write this, the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this, I know your works. I, I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. And yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich, and white garments to put on so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed, and buy ointment to smear on your eyes so that you may see. Those whom I love I reprove and chastise. 
Be earnest, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him, and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. I will, I will seat, seat the, the victor, victor beside, beside me on, on my throne. throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. I will, I will seat, seat the, the victor, victor beside, beside me on, on my throne. throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. I will, I will seat the victor, victor beside me on, on my throne. throne. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will, I will seat, seat the, the victor, victor beside, beside me on, on my, my throne. throne. The Lord be with you. And with your A spirit. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, he has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. It is said that the most well-traveled piece of art in human history is an 1853 painting by the English painter William Holman Hunt entitled The Light of the World. It depicts Christ in twilight knocking at the door, holding a lantern, knocking at a door that is overgrown with weeds and plants and with no handle on the outside. It depicts the verse of today's first reading, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will enter his house. It is clearly a dramatic visual interpretation of the whole experience of conversion. Our Lord knocks at the door inviting us to conversion, to communion, and to eternal life. That's what he says. He who opens the door, I will enter his house, dine with him, and I will seat the victor at the throne of victory along my side. That is what our Lord invites us to. But notice what that conversion involves. Before 
verse 20, Christ says, those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest, therefore, and repent. The reprovements, the chastisements, the sufferings we endure in this life are part of that knocking at the door. They are part of the purification of ourselves from earthly things that our Lord invites us to that we may come to know him better and repent and be able to open that door for him. For Zacchaeus, that knocking at the door happened when Jesus saw him in the sycamore tree. It comes in less dramatic ways for many of us. Perhaps it comes through reading a life of the saint, like, like St. Augustine's confession or the story of a conversion, such as those of G.K. Chesterton or C.S. Lewis or other great, great Christian thinkers or a book of apologetics. Sometimes through the trauma that we experience in life through, through pain, suffering, and recovery in one way or another. That knocking can come to us again and again, and the Lord wants to offer us the gift of communion and life eternal. There's a famous old spiritual entitled, Somebody's Knocking at My Door, and the song goes on to say, sounds like Jesus. We have to be ready to recognize that knocking in whatever form it comes and to understand that indeed Jesus does knock at our door. He who is the light of the world, the light in our dark darkness, our way, our truth, and our life. Let us pray. We pray for the church, for her leaders, especially our bishops gathered this week in Baltimore, that they may be guided by that invitation that Christ extends to the entire church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That each of us may recognize the knocking at our door, not simply as an annoyance, but rather as Christ calling us to repent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That each of us may be willing to share that light with others who have not yet seen it or heard that knocking, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who suffer from the effects of the cold weather in these climates due to a lack of food, shelter, or clothing, that our efforts may help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the intention of today's Mass, for Robert Joya, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear the prayers we offer and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice from your hands to the, to the praise, praise and glory of his name, his name for our good and the good of all this holy, holy church. church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast of blessed Albert the Great. 
that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saint Albert the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And so, Father, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Albert the Great, Saint Teresa of Avila, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and taught by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of the peace of Christ. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Albert the Great, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to remain with us for the devotional prayers immediately after the conclusion of today's Mass. The Lord be with you. Bow down for God's blessing. Turn the hearts of your people always to you, O Lord, we pray. And as you give them the help of such great patrons as St. Albert the Great, grant also the unfailing help of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. St. Michael the Michael Archangel, Archangel, defend us, defend in, us battle. in battle. Be our protection, be our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, may God, God rebuke, rebuke him, him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, O Prince, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the, by the power, power of God, cast, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Divine Mercy Chaplain, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus 
as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust I in you. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.